think the California Asians are all the same? They do! Bro, Cali Asians are all the same. They're either only geek Asians or street Asians, school Asians or cool Asians. And at the end of the day, they're just gonna hang out with a bunch of other Asians, so who cares? And between the Asians in Northern California, AKA NorCal, and the Asians in Southern California, AKA SoCal, they've been very influential in shaping the image of young Asians in America. With that being said, NorCal Asians and SoCal Asians are actually very different from each other. So to figure out the difference, we brought in NorCal representative Ellen. Bay Area, born and raised. And SoCal representative Michelle. Proud LA girl. So which part of California is better? NorCal. Uh, duh. Uh, let's just talk about the differences. NorCal Asians versus SoCal, SoCal Asians. Let's, let's go. go. Which side are you? A lot of people consider NorCal and SoCal two separate states. The drive alone is six hours long, and that is hella far. I hate that word. Wait, why do SoCal people hate it when NorCal people use the word hella? It just sounds stupid. SoCal's just jealous because they don't really have exclusive slang. Yeah, we do. We have sick, fool, legit, sketch, stoked. That's a little bit of a reach. ABG. Okay, I'll give you that one. First difference between NorCal and SoCal are the jobs that they're known for. A lot of people in NorCal work in the tech industry, AKA Silicon Valley, which is Google, Facebook, Apple, and a bunch of other computer stuff. In SoCal, everybody thinks it's cool to work in the entertainment industry, Hollywood, TV, even YouTube. The coolest thing you can be doing in NorCal is working at a tech startup and creating a world-changing mobile app. And the coolest thing to be doing in SoCal is working in acting, film, media, or just anything in the entertainment industry. Because SoCal's the number one place to do entertainment in the world, and NorCal's the number one place to do tech in the world, everybody in the world moves there to work in those industries. And that has a huge huge ripple effect on the culture of those regions which you can feel even if you're not in those industries. Guess what? I just saw Mark Zuckerberg at Phil's Coffee. No, I didn't ask him for a job. Guess what? I just saw Chloe and Kim at Earth Cafe. And no, they do not look as good in person. But actually for Asians in SoCal, they're more likely to be in the import export or the health industry. And while Asians might not be in Hollywood, we have Fa Media and New Media. YouTube. The next big difference between NorCal and SoCal is the Asian food. All right, we're gonna see who has better food country by country, cuisine by cuisine. Who's got better Chinese food? Go. Uh, I know there's more Cantonese people in NorCal than SoCal, and maybe the barbecue and the seafood is better, but it's kind of hard to say. Well, there are a lot more new Chinese immigrants in SoCal than in NorCal, so they might want more authentic Chinese food. SoCal or NorCal? Mm, SoCal. Korean food. There aren't a lot of Koreans in NorCal, and as a result, there's not a lot of legit Korean food. There are a ton of Koreans in SoCal, and therefore they bring really good authentic Korean food. SoCal. Who has the better Thai food? SoCal has way more Thai people. We even have a Thai town. SoCal. SoCal. Vietnamese food. We got San Jose. We got Garden Grove, Westminster. It's, it's a, a Thai. Indian food. There are a lot more Indian people in NorCal, probably because of the tech industry. Mm, we have a little India here, but it's not on the same level as NorCal. NorCal! Japanese food! We have a lot of people from Japan in SoCal. But the fish is way more fresh in the bay, so the sushi is way better. We got better ramen, yakitori, shabu shabu, okay, okay. curry. I'll hot. give it to SoCal. Filipino food! Okay, SoCal has a lot of Filipinos, but the bay has way more. NorCal! NorCal. Okay guys, I love NorCal, but when it comes to different types of authentic Asian food, I have to give it to SoCal. Thank you, but NorCal is second best. Differences in fashion between NorCal and SoCal. Because SoCal is always warmer than NorCal, we're gonna be wearing summer clothes all year round. We're gonna have a lot more flip-flops, clubbing attire, crop shirts, and crop shorts. All cropped, everything. In NorCal, we wear more boots, scarves, hoodies, and North Face. What's a North Face? Is that like a puffy jacket or something? Where's the bar? Something I noticed about Asian guys in NorCal is they dress more hip hop and they like to get lineups at the urban barbershop. Basically, they like to dress like Filipino DJs. Another big difference between NorCal Asians and SoCal Asians is how they party. Partying in SoCal is way different than NorCal. Way different. Different because our nightclubs are fancier and our parties are bigger. I think you mean you guys are more bougie and more clicky. Partying in LA is like partying in Vegas. Is that even a good thing? We like that the bay is way more chill. Come on, Porter's about to be on! Porter! Yes, Porter! Hurry up! Wait, where are you going? Jessica! Ugh, you always have to pee.
basically SoCal Asians like EDM and festivals more. And Asians in NorCal probably like hip hop and R&B more. And this difference can be seen in the handshake that Asian guys greet each other with. This is called a dap, and this is what Asian guys in the Bay do. Hey, what's up, Eric? Good yeah, to see you, dude. To meet you, man. This is a slide and pound. Most Asian guys in SoCal do this. Hey, hey, what's so, going on, bro? Yeah. So from what I've heard and what I've seen in SoCal clubs, girls and guys are not really dancing with each other. If you're referring to grinding, very few SoCal Asian girls do this. And usually because it's viewed as ratchet or they just don't know how to do it. In NorCal, Asians grew up dancing this way, so it's a lot more accepted. And it's part of having fun. So this is how SoCal girls dance with guys. And in the Bay, it's way more ratchet. Load of whistle. All right, Michelle, if you had to describe SoCal Asians in four words, they would be... Hollywood, fob, trendy, and glamorous. Ellen, if you had to describe NorCal Asians in four words, they would be... Chill, brainy, cultured, hip-hop. So in the comments below, let us know if these descriptions were accurate and which one you would prefer. Now, we are not saying that one is better than the other. We're just saying that they're kind of different. So, so get, get in where you fit in. in. Look, SoCal is pretty aware of all the flaws we might have, but at the end of the day, this is the place to be, and NorCal is not, so there's that. All right, everybody, thank you for watching that video. Thank you to Michelle and Ellen. Michelle's from LA, Ellen rep in the Bay. Follow them on their uh, social media right below. We'll put their little links up here. Subscribe to our channel and watch this video, watch this video in the comments below. Let us know if you're more of a NorCal Asian or a SoCal Asian. Peace.